You bet. Uh, welcome today to Around Town. Today we have with us Jay Baxter from the Midwest Cooperatives, and we're going to talk about a, probably a subject set near and dear to his heart. His heart is the uh, silo and grain bin entrapment. Yes. So what possessed you to get this, how did you find out about this silo, et cetera, et cetera, the movie? <clears throat> we had an employee down in Fairfax, uh, which is right next to the Nebraska border in South Dakota, that found this, this movie. And uh, it was a pretty interesting uh, story behind it. The, the director of the movie, it's, it's kind of a, oh, a film, and it's, he, he didn't release it like a movie. What he did is he uh, sold it to a safety committee and they go around and they try to sell it to uh, other communities. And uh, we try to get the excitement for people to go and see this. It's pretty important for, the, for our little communities. That's great. I, I understand the, the students are going to get a special showing of that too. They are, yep. Yeah. Uh, March 10th, uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. I think the seventh through 12th grade is gonna be Going to the going to the film, so. All right, all right, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, so you pulled together a bunch of business people to bring this into town. We did, yes. Yeah. The movie cost quite a bit of money. It was twenty five hundred dollars for one showing. Woohoo! Yeah, and then the, uh, they were gracious. They said we could do it a second time for five hundred. So uh, that kind of prompted us to see if we couldn't offset the cost a little bit, and uh, walked around the first twelve businesses said, you bet, count us in. So it's been really exciting. That's great. Yeah. You know, when the need is there, Philip comes to the rescue. It's, it's, it's always that way in Philip, South Dakota. Yeah, it is. I know last week we did a thing for Heidi Burns, and amazing the amount of turnout yeah. and the amount of, of cooperation. Um, I said one of my favorite slogans is patriotism is helping each other. Yeah, that's and true. So the, that's, uh, that's what you... Have you, have you ever been involved in an entrapment? Personally, no. I've done a lot of training on entrapments. Um, I helped the fire department and the ambulance uh, department here in Phillip put on some trainings and grain entrapment. Uh, personally, I haven't been involved in any, uh, thank goodness. We do a lot of, uh, a lot of rules in, in uh, CHS for grain handling. Oh, and I'm they don't that. they don't let us uh, they don't let us have have get get into an opportunity to where we would get buried in grain. Well, you would, yeah. 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 I'm sure they are. Yeah. I'm sure it's not only for the safety of, of the employees but the liability. Exactly. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. That's great. That's good. And you say there's there's not been one around here. Um, oh, we're going to talk about that day. They're showing at two and six thirty. Yes. But there's a hamburger freed, which is a good deal at uh, the fire hall between 5:30 and 6:30, right? I think I think it might even be between 5 to 6:30 okay, is the free burger feed. Okay, 5 to 6:30. Yes. Okay. But you're going to have some speakers there. Tell us a little about your speakers that are going to be. We are. Yeah. You asked earlier if there was uh, ever any grain entrapments, or, you know, right here within our community, and and I said no, but there's been quite a few around our community, and uh, one of them happened up north of Four Corners. And uh, that, was, that was with uh, Shannon and Perry DePoy. Shannon's a young guy and, and uh, he went into a bin of flowers. He had the harness on, he had the lifeline on, he had everything, you know, kind of doing everything pretty right. But uh, he still found himself buried in flowers. And uh, he's got quite a story to tell. It's a story with a happy ending, he survives. That's a good deal. But it's a, it's, it's, it's a story of a father and, and how desperate he was outside of that bin to help his son and uh, many other people. So everybody should come down um, Tuesday night, March 10th, at the hamburger feed between 5 and 6.30 p.m. Uh, Shannon and his dad's going to share the story. Oh, that's, a, that's great. Yeah. Um, so we know about the speakers. We know about you're going to get a free burger. and you. I think it's important for everybody to go, especially those that might find themselves in a green bin. It definitely. And we don't know who that is. You know, no. kids, kids from town go out and help guys in the country and, and uh, we can all find ourselves there. And we just, we hope people realize that when they open up that green bin door, 
or when they're accessing it from the top hatch that they realize that there's a lot of danger there and we need to stop and assess what the dangers are and really move forward cautiously. That's great. Yeah. So again, at two in the afternoon, the children are coming down and the high school and uh, there's going to be about 50, 70 seats available then too. So if some people want to come down at two o'clock, they can. Five o'clock, uh, the hamburger feed starts, and that finishes it up at 6.30 when we all go to the gym theater, which graciously hosting this film for us, and, and uh, it should be a good time and a good event tonight. One thing I would mention, uh, Philip is blessed with many things that aren't within 80 miles of here. A movie theater is one of them. I agree wholeheartedly. I love it. And a bowling alley is one of them. It is. And uh, A coffee shop. I mean, there's just so much in yep. Philip that it should be the heart of, and it is the heart of this West it is. River. It know? is. And it's really good that we, you're doing something. Um, one of the things that I like to talk about when the guests come in is the quality of life in Philip. And the quality of life depends on the people that live here, but also it depends on the businesses who provide employment, who provide you but their involvement, your involvement in the community. And what do we have for you today oh. is a quality of life recognition to Jay Baxter and Midwest Cooperatives in recognition wow. of their enhancement of the quality of life in Philip for the support of school and community organizations. Well, thank you very much, sir. You're very well. I appreciate it. Uh, your involvement, I, it just, and again, uh, like when you went around to the businesses said this is what we do and they said yes and yep. it is you know it's a, a really difficult time for the businesses that's why we got to shop local yep you're right because when you shop local you pro you provide opportunities like this you do for the community you do do you want to run the, the thing across the Ah, there we are. <laughs> well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it might be, partner. You made that a little easier. I'm, okay, well, I was I'm just a little thinking. nervous. Have you guys seen the trailer to the movie? Pardon? Have you seen the trailer to the movie? The trailer. We're running the trailer on Channel 91. You are. Okay. Yeah. And we're also running it on our Facebook. We have a Facebook page, and we are also on YouTube. I'll be and darned. Can you run, number four, run the crawl across the bottom? There you go. Again, that, it's 2 and 6.30. Yes, sir. Going. Yep. Now, I have the feed, wrong on the burger feed. I had 5.30, but it's 5 o'clock. It is 5 o'clock to 6.30, but if they come at 5.30, it's going to work, too. So That'll work. That'll work. You bet. So we would like to see a good turnout of that. All right. Well, again, Jay, it's just been great having you here. And welcome to our studio, which is a fledgling operation, but <laughs> we have fun. There's uh, Jarek is an intern with uh, Bridget. Brooke Locker. Program, yeah. yeah. And so he's been with us. Oh, he'll be here till the end of school. And he's done a great job. And he went to, the seniors went to New York and Washington, and he has put together a documentary about his trip, so nice. we'll see that. That'll be fun. Okay. okay, Jay, thank you. Thanks again. We'll see you folks. Uh, you can run the outro. <laughs>